Auroville is a universal city being built by idealistic people who wish to live and establish human unity. They come from 40 countries and from every state in India. And there is a large number of Tamil population also who are part of Auroville. My education graduation process started in Madurai in Tamil Nadu. Then I was a seeker wishing to discover the purpose of my life. I thought, I believe, I thought and believe that uh, the subject taught in the college for five years will tell me what life is and uh, what its purpose is. But the subject taught in the colleges developed only my thinking skills. It did not teach me the purpose of life. Through a meandering mental process, I found out a way to discover it and now have ended up in Auroville. It was good that I ended up in Auroville because this has enabled me to discover and formulate its purpose clearly. This has also provided a functional field where I can follow it. The function was educating the first generation learners and the field was a, uh, uh, education. My first approach with uh, such, uh, my first contact with such approaches occurred when my mentor told me about the Vrindavan word flashcard method and his book, How to Teach Your Baby Reading Skill. I was uh, impressed by the by its content. I wished to do it. I got a chance to try it with uh, 12 Tamil speaking village children who were three years old. It succeeded. They learned 150 to 200 words in three months without knowing the alphabet. I went to Isaimbalam school and established its use there in three years. <coughs> The children there learned to read in English and Tamil and also learned uh, many several, many interesting general knowledge topics. Their parents also, it, uh, the, some of the parents were educated, they also came forward to learn to use it at home. They supplemented our efforts with the school. So uh, it went on with the children and uh, it spread there. Then we encountered six mm -hmm. dropouts. Now we can see a video clipping of a three-year-old child reading without knowing the alphabet. Established the Rishi Valley Lily Rishi Valley Study Card System in our school. Educational officers in Tamil Nadu head of this approach. They sent a team of teachers here. They saw the learning here, observed it, and they were satisfied of the viability and the authenticity of the system and decided to use this in Tamil Nadu. They created a new 30 member team in which six teachers were included from Auroville. This team created a new set of study cards which were used in 30,000 primary schools in Tamil Nadu in three years. Computer technology were also used in your school to uh, learn the academic subjects. Initially, they were used to make it joyous and simple. Later, its capacity to bring out the inner potential of the student came when Sanjeev came to the school. My name is Sanjeev and I work at the Isi Amblem in Udavi School. I also work with rural, rural youth with electronics. I believe the purpose of education is beyond fitting in and even beyond standing out. Education should help us learn how to live, know ourselves and be self-directed. 
We started with constructivism, which says that education is not imparted to a user, or to a learner, but created by the learner. And in further, we looked at constructionism, which said it's best done when you make something beyond your mind. We put this to the test and used a visual programming language called Scratch with the children. The first one of the problems they encountered, for example, here, is that they had, a, they had to deal with a cube root of a very large number. This was a perfect storm for them. They had difficulty with large numbers, like we have difficulty with the mic, <laughs> and they had difficulties dealing with an abstract idea like cube roots. So they thought they'll use the computer to get the job done. But what they didn't realize is through programming, they needed to tell the computer everything step by step. So they had to tell the computer the guess number is there, you need to multiply it with itself three times to get the cube to compare with the target. And then when they started looking at the results they were getting, they started making connections that they had not made by themselves. And one child, when she figured out how this works, sparred with her own computer program solving 50 questions within an hour. This of course gave her an idea of what uh, cube roots was, but it also gave her incredible confidence to deal with large numbers. Programming can also be used by children to show something that they know well. Like this child who understood why fraction addition wasn't working for her before and gave a demonstration of what happens if you just add the tops together and the bottoms together. And then she said, now I know how to add it. And she wanted to give a demonstration of that too. So she said, the bigger pieces need to be broken down into smaller pieces till all the pieces are the same size and then I can add them. This process of creating and sort of either discovering or creating and presenting can act as an alternative to examinations in order for children to stay with the problem and learn from it so it helps with better retention. So this can help children both uh, uh, not only fit in but also stand out. From 2012, a felt need arose to integrate the use of this, all these approaches to fulfill all the learning needs of the student, real learning needs of the student. Each of the alternative processes were effective in a certain context to, to use of this, uh, but for the use of the, these uh, alternative practices were to be used with the intelligent and resourcefulness to meet uh, the learning need of the children so that with, with the resourcefulness and intelligence to meet the learning needs of children. Uh, but for it to be effective, it has to be done, for it to be effective, it can be done with effectively only in the context of the student's need. So, a personalization of his learning was needed. That personalization process uh, is uh, a tough process, so we decided to do that thing. So initially, we wrote individual learning program to cover his academic needs. When implementing this individual learning program, it evolved into a personalized learning program, which uh, covered all his learning needs the removal of all his learning difficulties, the consolidation of the, all the strong points in his education, acquiring uh, value-based life skills. All these were written in a, in a, in a, this were, uh, this, in this PLP, first a program is written covering all these needs as comprehensively as possible. Then the learner was enabled to acquire an increasing self-awareness of the his learning program and uh, a self-motivation to implement this program. And uh, <coughs> for
for that there was a necessity to personalize the approach that is we have to use the, an appropriate approach to meet his specific need this was a challenging task after that the children and teachers students and teachers <coughs> they learn to comprehensively evaluate the used comprehensive evaluation techniques to know the learning outcomes this enabled them to get metacognition skills this acquisition of metacognition skills improved their learning well we created a rural stem plan because we decided we didn't want to control the children through the computer and we wanted children to control the computer and what we have been able to notice is that all of us learn a lot more when our focus shifts from teaching to learning <laughs>